Bart Ehrnitz is currently one of the best long course triathletes on the planet. He was second place in Ironman Hawaii 2018, no less. But he didn't always start out life as a triathlete. In fact, he was an extremely competitive duathlete earlier in his career, 2010 world champion, no less. So I'm gonna head down to the pool just now, have a chat with Bart, because I thought it'd be really interesting to find out the journey and process that he's gone through to effectively learn to swim to become competitive as a long course triathlete. Bart, you were a very good duathlete before you came into triathlon, world champion in 2010. So can you talk a little bit about how your swimming has had to change from being a duathlete moving into triathlon? Um, so actually I started with triathlon first in oh. 2004, I think, in uh, two Belgian races. Uh, I think I got inspired by uh, probably what Luc van Lierde did in the 90s in Belgium. And then, uh, yeah, we wanted to, I had another friend uh, from athletics and we both got inspired by triathlon and we wanted to try it ourselves. So I think in 2003, we started training on our own a little bit for fun for triathlon. I uh, started swimming, I had no swimming background, so I had to learn to swim freestyle. And then I did two races in Belgium in 2004, and then uh, I was not the best swimmer. And uh -huh. somehow I got into duathlon in 2005, and then I was just focused on duathlon. I mean, there was like... Uh, I was not thinking about triathlon anymore because yeah, duathlon suited me very well. Mm. I uh, could qualify for my worst, first world champ straight away in 2005 and then you're into it and you're motivated and you focus on that one. And I think it's in 2008, at the end of 2008 in Belgium, uh, I was third on the world champs duathlon, mm -hmm. short distance, and they asked me if I was interested to uh, get like a pro contract to make the switch to triathlon. So that happened in 2008. So actually ah, they, okay. m they gave me the chance for two years to make the switch to triathlon. That's how it happened in the end. So what was the big challenge when you first had to start thinking about swimming fast for short course triathlon? Uh, so I started working with a really good uh, swim coach, a real swim coach, uh, Ronald Gastra. He had some Olympic medals in swimming already. So, uh, and he was based in Antwerp as well. So actually, uh, he was uh, involved in the project. We had two years to try to make it as a swimmer or at least uh, a swimming level to make it into the Olympic distance. And I remember the first year I was swimming up to 35 kilometers a week, okay. but the second year we did up to 50 kilometers a week of swimming. Wow. And without a swimming background, I'm still not sure if it was a good idea. Yeah. I mean, to rush it is like a bad idea. We tried too hard in the beginning, maybe did it too extreme. Yeah. Uh, like up to 50 kilometers a week as a non-swimmer, it doesn't look like swimming anymore. So yeah. I think it's even uh, the opposite, you know, instead of getting better, you maybe make yourself really tired. And uh, so in the end, I think it was a really good learning process. But the end of 2011, I decided to uh, yeah, focus on long distance because the short distance after a few years, you need to be, I mean, I'm not going to make it, you know, uh, the Olympic level uh, uh, in, in, in triathlon. So how do you feel that, how have you found that move into long course? Do you feel a lot happier with your swimming now and coping with a, a less volume of training each week, which is actually allowing you to be, I mean, you're very, very competitive as a long course triathlete now. So how does yep. your swimming fit into that? Yeah, I think, I mean, from what I, what I learned from the short distance was a really good lesson for me. And I think it's, uh, it's I'm also very happy that I tried at least. Mm. So I don't feel like I failed, but I was more like, okay, I still want to try it. You know, I want to try it for three years, three and a half years. Don't give up after one year, you know, keep trying. And I think it's also, um, I learned in the short distance uh, not to give up after the swim, because even I, I won some short distance races as well, even with yeah. a bad swim. So ah. it, it's just uh, the mindset was probably a really good uh, lesson for me. It's not finished after the swim and it's the same in long distance. You mm -hmm. know, the swimming is not as important, but it's still important. Yeah. And uh, it's not good to lose time straight away in the beginning of the race. But it's more the mindset, you know, if you still keep uh, believing in your race or uh, keep stay positive, you know, during the race, then you can still uh, do a lot. And in the end, uh, in long course, my swimming, I'm probably more relaxed now with everything and I have more experience. Um, so I think, yeah, it's all, you know, you need years, you need time to be comfortable with the swim, to be comfortable with the whole situation. And for me, the short distance was a, distance was a bit of a rush. So that's and about now, 10 years now, we're in 2019. So since yeah. you started that journey yeah. into short course, so yeah. do you feel now that you're a confident swimmer? in amongst long course athletes. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident in the swim and I know I'm not the best swimmer, so I will have good days and days where you struggle a bit more. Yeah. I think that's normal. Uh, if you're a, 
a top swimmer, you always, I mean, even on a bad day, you still make it in the front pack. For me, it's different, mm. you know, everything has to go well to have a really good swim. Mm. And on a bad day, I maybe lose more time, but then that's the way it is. And yeah. uh, the race starts later. So before I jump in the water with Bart, I thought I'd just quickly run through his session details. Now he wants to start off with an 800 meter, nice and easy warm up, building through the gears with some surges in there and a little bit of back crawl too. And then into a main set, which is a thousand meters in total. And that comprises of a 200 meter, nice and steady, two 100 meters a bit quicker, and then finishing with two by 50 hard. Do that whole set twice through, and then finish off with 200 meters, nice and easy back crawl as well. So all that being said, I guess I better dive in. Well, that was a little bit of fun because it's always nice to have an excuse to get in the pool, especially one that looks like this. But in all seriousness, it's really interesting to get an insight into what some of the very best athletes are doing in their lead up to race day. So I hope you find this video interesting. Please hit that thumb up like button if so. Find the globe on screen to get all the other videos that we make here at GTN. And if you want to see another swim video, well, you can get our swim analysis of Lucy Charles here. <laughs> 